Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Patrick Weaver Vlog. Today, I'm really excited because I'm filming a video that I've wanted to do for so long and I just finally had the time to do it. That is an ask me anything. So I pulled my Instagram followers and I gave them a Google Forms link that was completely anonymous. It said, ask me anything. And my computer here, we're gonna start by going through the, all of these different questions. I haven't read any of them yet. So this is gonna be a first for both of us. So I'm gonna pull up that form, but before I do, it is time for the main ingredient. It's time to get a little bit of wine. Things have been very hectic and very busy for me. I am about to start a brand new job, which I'm extremely excited about. So I wanted to get this filmed before all that starts to get crazy. But first, Of course, everyone can see uh, my dog Murphy is over here. Murphy, say hello to the camera. He's like, Dad, what the hell is going on? Um, cheers, let's have a sip while I pull up this Google form. Okay. 34 responses, okay, whew. That should be fun. Before we dive into today's video, if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe and you ring the bell icon so that way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. If you haven't, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll have my at right here. I'll also have it linked to the description below as well. Oh, this is an interesting one. How much money do you make doing collaborations? Um, I'll never disclose the actual amount. It depends on a multitude of different things. Um, what type of content, uh, usage rights from the brand, if it's like video versus a photo. Um, it, it, there's, a, there's just so much that goes into it. Um, but I'm happy to do a video on this if it's something that you guys are interested in on how we as influencers and, uh, you know, in, in bloggers, how we charge brands for that kind of stuff. Um, I'm sorry there's an emergency outside, but I'm filming. Can you be quiet? Thank you. Shag, Mary kill. You're wrong for this one. Whoever you are, you're wrong for this. Shag, Mary kill, Donald Trump, Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Mmm. Mm-mm. -mm. I'm gonna have to marry Trump. Mm! No, I'm not, because he's going to prison. I'm gonna have to shag Trump before he goes to jail. I'm gonna have to kill Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, and then that means I have to marry Matt Gates. I'm too old for him. I'm way out of his age bracket. What? You just wanted to just come over here to, for me to love on you. Did you want to be in the video? Want everybody to see you? No question. Just wanted to say that you look fat and you get uglier every day. Your dad and your husband thought I was really hot last night, so mind your business, bitch. <laughs> this one's great. Do you secretly have a crush on Zach? Um, I host a podcast with one of my best friends, Zach. It's called The Boys in Bed Podcast. You should listen to it. I'll have it linked in the description down below. Um, no, I do not secretly have a crush on Zach. Previously, I did have a crush on Zach that I got over very quickly because he told me he had a boyfriend. Cheers. Well, this is interesting. Um, do you see yourself getting married and having kids? Um, no to the kids. I just want dogs. Um, getting married? Yeah, I hope so. I, w I just think that my wedding would be fabulous. Like, can you even flip and imagine? It'd be everything. Like, I can't deny people how incredible and epic that would be and iconic it would be. It just would not be very fair to the world for me not to have a wedding, period. It says, in your book, you said you don't have a relationship with your birth mom. Why? Um, short answer, her family is extremely racist and homophobic. Um, long answer, uh, she does not want to fight for diversity in her own family and fight and advocate for me um, to be a part of them or to have anything to do with them. So 
no, I won't have anything to do with her until she decides to stand up for what is right, which is to say, this is somebody that I brought into the world and he's asking to just have coffee or dinner with me and you are either going to get over it or you can come and meet him too. And until then, and she wants to deal with that, no, I won't have a relationship with her. The full story about it though is in my book, so you can read it. Who are your top five housewives slash Bravo celebrities? Um, five is a lot, so let me just get, well, I can do five. Number one of all time is Bethany Frankel. Number two is Tamara Judge. Number three, Sonia Morgan. Number four, Phaedra Parks. Number five, Lisa Barlow. Love that bitch. Love all those bitches. Do you miss your most recent ex? Yeah. Every day. 100%. Never said that publicly. Okay. What's the one thing about your life you aren't happy about? Mmm. a really hard question um one thing in my life that I'm not happy about um I don't particularly enjoy being single right now I'm really ready to settle back down with somebody and yeah also I'm really not happy about my life because it's so flipping hot outside all the time I'm sick of being hot I need fall I want winter and if you know me that's saying a lot because I hate winter but I'm so flipping tired of being hot that it's time for some Speaking of my book, uh, this question says, what was the fate, what was your favorite chapter in your book and your least favorite? Um, let me get my book so I can show it to you guys. So this is my book, Southern Fried Sass, how I became the most fabulous version of myself. And, uh, you can get it on Amazon. I'll also have it linked in the description below. Um, what was this question again? Uh, favorite chapter, least favorite. Um, Favorite chapter to write, uh, the chapter titled The Real Housewives of Boone. Um, my least favorite chapter to write, probably the chapter called, um, oh, it's like a toss up between two. Um, I'd probably say that the, the, least favorite chapter in the book for me is uh entitled religion hurt me jesus rescued me um detailing my religious trauma and experiences that i had in the church and with people from the church but yes my book is available on amazon it's 23.99 you should buy it it's really great even Mur it's murphy approved <laughs> those are really the only interesting questions that I want to answer. So that ends today's video. If you haven't, make sure that you follow me on Instagram at Patrick Weaver blog and make sure that you subscribe to my channel here and I will be uploading a lot more here very soon.